What's up Titans, it's Curtis. And in today's video, I want to cover our new keyword research tool over at Merge Titans. We completely remade the tool and we have released the first version of it. There are many more updates coming, but I wanted to cover this tool for you and show you exactly how it works and how you can utilize it to find some of the best long tail keywords on Amazon for your shirts, your notebooks, or whatever uh, product you have on Amazon. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick overview of this tool. Uh, right here, you'd input your base keyword, and then you'd run a search, and it'll run a search based on the category you have selected here. So in this case, with the birthday gifts keyword, I just ran a search on all departments on Amazon, which will give me the most data, but it's not always the most specific. So let's say you're selling books on Kindle Direct Publishing. You'd probably want to change the category to books. That way, the auto-suggested keywords that are coming back are way more specific to actual books and what people are actually searching. Um, if you're selling uh, shirts on Merch by Amazon, you'll probably change this to clothing, shoes, and jewelry and run searches that way as the results will be different. They'll be more specific to the products you're actually selling. So with that being said, let's go down to the keyword search volume and that. Uh, as you can see here, I have 100 auto-suggested keywords out of 282. And you see there's multiple pages of data. We gather this information for you very quickly with the search volume, as you can see here, 201,000 for birthday gifts. That's an average um, search on a monthly basis. And this data isn't always 100% accurate, but it's pretty damn close. Uh, and we have the CPC over here, which is the cost per click. It's basically the average amount of money being spent on this keyword through Google Ads. And then we have the competition score. One means high competition, but that's not always a bad thing. Um, but if you can find a keyword that has low competition, let's say 0.50 or lower with high search volume, that's a really good keyword to look into further to see what kind of products exist on Amazon and how much competition is in the space. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and run some searches here. I'm going to change this back. Let's go to clothing. And I'm just going to do birthday, just a really base keyword. Whoops. And once that data is back, I want to show you a cool feature we have here. Okay, so you can see the data here. It brought back all of these keywords. There's 223 of them. These ones are a little bit more specific for clothing because we're using the clothing category to get auto-suggested keywords for the uh, main keyword birthday. And as you can see here, we have search volume. So I'm going to change this to sort by highest. So we got birthday cards, invitations, gifts for mom. You see all these different keywords. Well, let's say out of the 223 items, we wanted to just see keywords that had shirt in them. So we come up here and type shirt. So now you can see it quickly just populates all of the keywords with shirt. It's a birthday girl shirt. You can see that receives 14,800 searches uh, per month on average. Birthday paw parrot shirt. Not sure what that is, but it receives quite a bit of searches. And so forth. You can see all of these different shirts. You can very, very quickly get really good long tail keywords uh, for Merch by Amazon, for Kindle Direct Publishing, or any product you're selling on Amazon. So you can change this to T t-shirt like that, get the t-shirt specific uh, keywords, t like this, or clothing, there's clothes, etc. So that makes it really easy to quickly find um, keywords that are more specific to what you're looking for out of the huge list of return data. Uh, now with that being said, that's our paid tool. Again, you have all of these different categories you can utilize. Um, and we do have a free version of this tool that will pull back the highest um, 15 keywords with the highest search volume for free. So for instance, if I came over here, all departments, let's just try uh, unicorn. Give that a go. It's loading the data. So you can see here we have unicorn, unicorn costume toys, onesies, slime, gifts, etc. So this right here on the front end is completely free to uh, use. All you'd have to do is go to MerchTitans.com, go to tools, and then go to keyword research. So it gives you 15 uh, keywords with the highest search volume. And you could again, you could sort these however you like. But uh, the paid tool, there's no cap to it. And in a lot of cases, you'll have 150 to 300 plus keywords per search, depending on the keyword you're using. If it's a generic keyword, which I recommend for doing auto-suggested keyword research like this, it'll pull back way more data and then you can filter it however you like to start finding those gold gems. Anyway, let's go ahead and run another search. I'm gonna go over to books. Let's try gratitude. I'm gonna leave it pretty simple and we'll wait for that data to come back. 
Okay, so as you can see here, we got the gratitude keyword, which is one we searched. 301,000 searches per month. I want to change this to sort by search volume. And you can see gratitude quotes, gratitude journals, poems, book, Bible, gifts, uh, gratitude notes, um, gratitude prompts, gratitude journal for kids. You can see 590 searches per month. And so forth. You know, I come down to the bottom here, you can see there's 62 for this one. That's pretty damn good. There's a lot of keywords here that you can use uh, for Kindle Direct Publishing. Now let's go back to uh, clothing. Or actually go to cell phones and accessories and try maybe pop socket. I'm just going to put pop socket in here and see what comes up. Alright, so the search results have been returned. There's 242 entries here. I'm going to sort this by search volume. So you can see pop socket mount, pop socket black, cute, Disney, which you'd probably avoid, unicorn, uh, so forth. So you see all of these pop socket. You can start to get all kinds of ideas. Uh, for pop sockets, pop socket skull, alien, American flag, 880 searches per month on average, uh, yin and yang here. So you can see you could use this tool to come up with so many ideas. Then go out to Amazon through our product research here and put this keyword in and search it and see how much competition exists in the space and how well the products overall are selling. So this keyword research tool, again, is brand new. We just completely remade it. And we'll only get better. We have a lot of really cool updates coming to it soon. But that should be it for this video. I recommend you guys check this out. Get familiar with it. It's a very, very powerful tool. And it'll only get better. And it brings back, again, auto-suggested keywords. Basically going from A through Z in the alphabet and 0 through 9 in numbers. And it'll get everything for you very quickly with search volume, CPC data, and a competition score. Um, it's really powerful. And for our $9.99 monthly membership, that's extremely cheap for a tool of this value. And again, you do have the free tool over here as well, which I'll link in the description below. And I'll link you to Merch Titans to sign up as well if you're not already a member. But that should be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, just let me know by leaving a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions that you would like to see added to this tool, I'm open to ideas all the time. So leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.